everyone welcome back to my channel today I will be doing a get ready with me video it's getting really cold out and I'm just feeling the fall vibes so I'm gonna run a few errands today I don't usually dress up or put makeup on to go to the grocery store but it's just a way that I can make the video and just get it out of the way so I feel like I have a reason to get ready yeah I don't know what kind of eyeshadow look I'm going for I'm just gonna kind of wing it so yeah I'm gonna start off with my favorite face cream it's a tea tree face cream for oily acne prone skin and I just I've been using this a lot lately just because tea tree oil is like my go-to now like I use it for everything it's in my face wash it's in my shampoo it's in my conditioner feels nice on the skin I love the smell and it just feels like I'm being healthy and for those of you who don't use primers I feel you because I just haven't noticed a difference in like what a primer does to my foundation there are some people who just like, can't do their makeup without using a primer and I just don't understand that but yeah I haven't really found a primer where I'm like oh my god I need to use this so I'm not gonna be using a primer today my lips get very dry especially in the mornings so I like to put this on in the morning and before I go to bed I sometimes forget that I put this on and I'll just leave the house with like a bunch of sugar on my lips I love this my boyfriend actually introduced me to this weirdly enough because he does not use any type of fancy products and I think you can get this on Amazon um, I'm gonna start with my eyebrows sometimes my eyebrows are terrible one day and then amazing the next I'm not really going to talk you guys through this because I'm not an expert at the eyebrows. I'm using this dark shade right here, this is like my favorite Morphe palette even though I haven't really gone out and gotten any new Morphe palettes. This is literally the only Morphe palette that I have. Brushing it towards the outside. Usually, always start with this color right here. It's a nice light brown and I like it as a base for whatever I do next. Just a little secret for you guys. I'm wearing wedges. Maybe I should take them off. That would be smart. Very smart. So this I'm just gonna put on my outer corners. I like to blend it out here to get like a cat look. I'm like super messy with my eyeshadow. I do not care about the brush strokes. Just kind of like blend however. Guys, I really don't like talking through a makeup tutorial. It makes me feel really weird. I feel like I'm talking to myself. A lot of YouTubers that are like, oh my god, I feel like I'm talking to you guys. And I'm like, how? How? How do you feel that way? Using this color right here, this one. Here I'm just gonna go in more like in the crease and kind of just like blend it out a little bit. I hate these lines right here that come from the concealer. Does anyone have that issue? So that's that. Then I'm gonna go in with the bigger blending brush and just like blend out the outsides. Now with this smaller brush, I'm actually going to use this palette that I don't really use often. It's the Nubian 2 palette. I absolutely love this palette, but I kind of stopped using it because it just doesn't look pretty anymore. <laughs> That's how it looks. I just messed it up completely when I was traveling. I'm going to use like this dark Kenya color. It's like a purplish brown. So 
I think that's enough. I literally just had to pat it on a couple times. Blend in the edges because this eye was starting to look crazy. The lighting in this camera is really not doing this eye look justice. It's pissing me off. I actually did decide that I was going to do my liner. So there's that. Just a little tip, I learned this in one YouTube video that I was watching. When you're doing your mascara and you get shit all over your eyelid, use a spoolie. I hope that's what it's called. That would be super embarrassing if it wasn't. You literally just brush it off. Once the mascara dries on your eyelids, it just easily comes off. I just thought that was so smart. Maybe I'm the only one who thinks that. This foundation is freaking amazing. When I blend it in, this eyeshadow is just so natural. It goes into my skin so well. It doesn't get oily. Like, this is amazing. I thought I was in love with the Fenty Beauty foundation, but this just brought it to a whole nother level. So, I'm gonna put just a little bit. I don't like to cover my face with a bunch of foundation, so I usually just do like four pumps. And I'm using this Real Techniques brush. It has worked really well for me when blending my foundation. forehead either honestly i don't really put it in these spots normally i literally just put it on my body i literally just put it on my body i usually just put it on my under eyes and that's it but today we're going all out so So that is done. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. palette. This is my contour palette. Today we're gonna go in with the darkest color. Oh god, I put way too much. Just put a little bit here. Just a little stroke. I'm gonna go on top of that with my Hula Bronzer. I got the mini one because I'm too broke to get the actual one. Just gonna take my Master Chrome highlighter. I've been using this for a while. It's the metallic highlighter. Love. I'm just going to put a little there, a little there, and blend it out. This brush I use for eyeliner sometimes. I'm sure there's like leftovers on here. So I'm just going to add some depth under here. And then I'm going to go in with my two smaller brushes, blending brushes with the eyeshadow. gonna go in with this all-nighter urban decay setting spray you guys need to clean your lips after you put foundation on that is so gross now that that's done I'm gonna go in with my lips using the NYX no actually I got this in France guys I would compare it to a NYX lip liner it's this nice purplish color oh my god I have just started using lip liner as you can see I'm struggling what the Okay, I swear, I struggled, but not like this. Okay, whatever. I'm not even gonna bother with that. I'm going in with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. I get a bunch of these. I love them. This is in the shade Dubai. This is the finished look. I'm gonna go in with 
my hair stuff. So usually when my hair gets oily like this and it's straight, I like to just slick it back. Go check out my greasy hairstyle video from like years ago. This is the final look. Jacket and these jeans. They're high-waisted. As you can see, it really made my makeup look less dramatic. This jacket that I got is from Mango. I was in France and I went crazy. I don't really know if they have it in the States. They might. This sweater, simple sweater I got at Forever 21. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Lots of love. I will see you guys next time.